To be honest, I've been getting kind of bored of Minecraft lately. How do we solve that? Well, we add new blocks, new biomes, a few of my friends, and most importantly, the create mod. The create mod completely changes how we're gonna build, farm, and so much more. And I'm so excited to finally start this series. So let's get right into it. We are here on a brand new world for the first time in like eight months. But the first step, of course, is to go ahead and punch our first tree. Here's a list of every single mod we're using on the screen right now. And I am so excited to get started, especially with the create mod. You guys want to go caving? We need to grab a, a, at least some basic resources to start out with. All right, save me. Second death of the server. Oh, man, you look so stupid. Actually, it looks like a nice village. I'm 100% confident one of them is going to kill my cow as soon as I <laughs> No, Maybe. guys, I... Hello there. I don't know. Baby zombie, why is there a baby zombie? No! Oh, no! <gasps> There's so many diamonds. Oh! <laughs> he yes! actually did it. So I just found this this weird cylinder thing. I assume this is some sort of structure in here. I I don't think it was supposed to generate like this, but it did. So let's see if we mine through here. Is there anything here? There is. Oh, there's actually some. Okay. Okay, this is kind of weird, but I'll take it. And there are just so many diamonds in these big open caves. There's some right there, some right there, some right there. Yeah, this is this is amazing. We're about to have full diamond armor right now. There are actually so many diamonds right now. Let's see if we can find just a little bit more. Then I'm going to get out of these caves for today. All right. I'm going to head over to my base location, I think. And now we're here. And I've got quite a bit of stuff we got over that time. And this great area where we're going to build up our base. So now that we found our location, we can finally start making some real progress. I have a couple of really cool builds planned out for this area. And you guys are going to see them in a second. But first, I want to show you guys how the create mod really works, if you haven't seen it. A lot of the create mod is learning how to generate power and then using that power to create things that make our game easier, allow us to transportate items, stuff like that. The first create mod thing we need to build is a mechanical press. And what that's going to do is pretty much just convert our gold or iron into gold or iron sheets, just like that. And that's useful for a lot of different things we're going to be building later on. And all we're going to need to do that is just place our press right above a block like this and then power it with some sort of power source, like a windmill or a water wheel. But in this case, I think for now, we're just going to use a crank. And that's going to allow us, when we place the gold down here, to go ahead and crush it just like that. So we can build that real quick in our main world. You can see that our first very simple create mod machine is now working. And this thing allows us to get iron sheets, which is useful in so many different create mod builds. And we can start our first ever create mod farm. Back over here in the empty abyss where we're gonna design that wheat farm. This design is not gonna be too difficult. Pretty much what we're gonna be making use of these here mechanical harvesters, just like this. We're gonna place a line of them, probably four of them, which will all be connected with glue to this because this is all gonna be spinning we'll place the chest on top to collect all the resources and this little thing here which is gonna offload all the wheat now we're gonna go ahead and attach it to a mechanical bearing which is gonna spin it and then up here we can actually place a windmill bearing which allows us to create a windmill and i think we'll just do a vertical design just like this so we'll move some of these blocks out of the way for the moment and if we go ahead and press this button you'll see that this entire thing spins and now if we plant seeds underneath here you can see that it's gonna harvest them and replant them automatically the farm seems to be working on bone wheeling a few of these to test and it looks like it's coming through and harvesting it all which is perfect now that we've got food settled i think we can begin working on our base and the first thing i want to do in order to build what i want to build here which is probably some sort of village i don't have an exact idea yet but i know pretty much what i'm doing we need to chop down a few of these trees and there's actually a really easy way we can do that with another create mod item so i'm gonna go ahead and craft this mechanical saw this mechanical piston and of course a crank to power the whole thing now if we test it with this tree here i think if we place this we place the saw we spin this and it should chop down the entire tree in like five seconds this is very powerful and it's gonna help us speed up the building process so much. All right, let's go ahead and use this and chop down a bunch of the trees in this area. So I began clearing out the area around our base to plan for our brand new village. And I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more unique from the other series that I've been doing and try to branch out and try new things, try new styles. And I think it's gonna turn out really, really cool. We are able to craft this. I think this should work. A schematic cannon, which allows us to essentially gather all the blocks we need and then have this 
build it for us. I'm not going to do it for all of our builds, but for a big starter base like I'm about to build, I think this is going to be really helpful. You like my diamond armor? I got an upgrade. It's very nice. It's almost as good yeah, as my diamond armor. You doing over here? I'm getting blue dye, personally. Oh, are because you? I need a blueprint so I can build my starter base. So if we go ahead and place this schematic in here, we got house one .mpt, which we can scan through this, and then this is gonna allow me to place a version of it in our world. You can see the box is the outline for it. It is placed in and you can see a little bit of it here. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing right now, but let me get this position. All right, I've got the build in place. So you can see it a little bit up there. I won't show you too much. All right, the build's in place up there. You can see it a little bit from here. And the build is now exactly where I want it, which means if I put it in this cannon and if we grab some paper, we can craft a book, put it into the cannon and it will tell us exactly which blocks we need. So you can see there's eight pages of different kinds of blocks we need to gather. There's there's quite a few things actually. This might be a bigger project than I thought. Did I just spend the last few days gathering all the resources myself? I sure did and it took a very long time. But that completely filled out the book. Which means if we go into this cannon, put in some gunpowder right here. We can hit play and it should start building our base. There it goes. Now this is built, you know exactly what we have to do. We need to build a second house to store this thing inside of and maybe level it up a little bit. And it's gonna go all the way up here on the top of this hill. It's a little bit smaller, but I'm still gonna use our cannon to build it for me because I designed it in creative. Now this thing is gonna build it for us in survival, but of course I have way more materials to collect. So that's gonna be fun. There it is, house number two is done, and I think this one turned out really, really well. And it actually has quite a bit of functionality. If we look outside, you can see there's this water wheel being powered by this river that flows down. And inside, that water wheel is powering this system, which looks a little complex, but it's actually super easy. Literally all it is, is that we put the iron in here, and then this conveyor belt takes it along, crushes each one, which pretty much automates the entire system of crushing the iron and everything else we need to crush. So that's great. In terms of this build, I tried to use a really, really strong gradient, some really contrasting colors here. And I think overall, it turned out really, really good. And I think we should just go ahead and keep expanding this village we're building up here with one more house, which is gonna go right up here. I've already designed it in creative once again, but before we can get to the point where we can actually build the thing with a cannon, I need to collect way more resources. You can see that I've started here, but there's still way more that we need to add. And there we go. One simple little jump cut later, and you don't have to watch me but mine a single block. But now, I think we're all good to go ahead and click fire on this cannon. And our third build can begin. House number three is done, and I'm super happy with this one. I think it uses a really nice color combination, and it'll be a great place to store our cows and eventually probably the mill thing. But now, in order to call this project complete for today, I want to add a few details to this area. So real quick, let's just add a well, some trees, And just a bunch of other random details. And just a few little details made all the difference. You can see I just threw in some trees, some random furniture stuff, a well over here. And this area is feeling a lot more complete and I'm really happy with how this turned out. But of course, we've got to do something with this building. I don't think I'm going to put the mill in it. Instead, I wanted to try to see what could I put in here that would help clear out the area over here. And I did used to have a cactus farm over here, so I figured why not just move it in the building? And we now have pretty much the slowest cactus farm ever. This is a few days later. It produced about 43 cactus. That's not too great. And I think we've just about completed everything for today's episode. I am super excited for this series to continue. And if you are, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. Don't worry. Hardcore will be back before you know it. And there's already an episode two for this on the way. So I hope you're excited for that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Check out JCheck and Momax. They both made great videos on the server. Go watch.